There are two purposes to this video. First, just to explain that it is okay to use uh, Teflon tape on hydraulic hose fittings. And then explaining my method that I use to fix my um, skid loader attachment, a backhoe attachment. The internet is full of bad advice. And I took the bad advice listening to people who said that you didn't use, shouldn't use Teflon tape on a hydraulic hose fitting. Uh, they were completely wrong. Uh, don't listen to everything on the internet. I'm right on this one. The internet was totally wrong. You can use it to seal the NPT fittings. I wasted a lot of time because of bad advice on the internet. Probably a full day of work trying different ways to um, seal those uh, that that hose fittings that I had on my on my uh, backhoe attachment. Uh, so that's why I did this video. I bought this backhoe attachment to put on a new Holland skin loader. The hoses were clearly too short. I found a 24 inch hydraulic hose that would act as an adapter. Uh, it, I needed to do 37 degree fittings on the uh, back hose side, but this was uh, NPT fittings on both ends of this hose. The 37 degree fittings uh, adapted quite well with swivel connectors, and I had no problem. There were no leaks. The dealer did not have the right fittings to connect uh, my flat face couplers to the uh, um, to the extension hose. So uh, they gave me these NPT adapters, and uh, I just couldn't seal them up, no matter how hard I torqued them. Same problem sealing up the uh, fittings. I've only really brought new flat face fittings, but that didn't do any good either. Uh, but they would they just wouldn't seal. They were NPTs and uh, trying to connect those hoses uh, did not work at all. The solution is simply to use Teflon tape. I use the yellow tape because it is for petrochemicals, not necessarily hydraulic oil, but it's as close as you get to a Teflon tape that you can use for uh, for some kind of petrochemical. And I'm not endorsing any specific brand. The tools are pretty simple. All you need is a pipe wrench, and uh, I had a 7 8 inch open end wrench. It's good to have a lot of towels to clean up with, and of course, a, a pair of gloves doesn't hurt anything either. The method of applying the tape was fairly simple. I used a pair of scissors to square off both ends. I put three layers on, and I did it clockwise so that it goes the same direction as you screw on your coupling. Now, when you get it on, you can move the uh, Teflon tape back and forth by using it just like a nut and get it out to that very first, very first thread on your pipe. And that's what I, this is fairly important. You need to put your thumb on that Teflon tape as you hand tighten that fitting on because the Teflon tape will move just like it's a nut moving on a, on a bolt. So hold it on as much as you can while you hand tighten. Once hand tightening is done, you don't need to do that anymore. Then you take your wrenches and tighten it two to two and a half turns. I did one side with two turns, didn't leak a drop. I did the other side with two and a half turns. Now, if there is a leak, I suggest going just barely one eighth of a turn each try. I hope this video will save you some time when working on hydraulic fittings. Bye from now from Nebraska, from me and my granddaughter. Please like and subscribe.